I just spent $28 to give myself permanent brain damage. So the other day, I was in the bookstore with one of my friends, and we found Megan Fox's book of poetry called Pretty Boys Are Poisonous. And so my friend flipped to a random page and started reading it out loud. Maybe the apple in the Garden of Eden was actually a cock. Alright, all right, shut the f*** up, man. We're leaving. And so we left the book where we found it. But later that night, as I lay in bed, I couldn't stop thinking about that damn book. Megan Fox just has such a way with words. So early that next morning, I went back to a bookstore and I brought that poetry book back to the cash register. And the price said $28 for this tiny book. And so I read it and oh my god, it is without exaggeration the worst book I've ever read in my entire life. So I'm going to read some parts of Megan Fox's terrible book for you guys today. And I hope you guys enjoy it because I know that I won't. Uh, let's start with the author's note. Dear reader, I have a savior martyr complex. A hopelessly romantic open wound of a human with a blisteringly sardonic sense of expression that I keep mostly repressed except for the rare red carpet moments or interviews when these observations kamikaze themselves from my mouth because I can't bear the weight of the artifice anymore. Jesus Christ, Megan. It sounds like you just gave somebody with room temperature IQ a thesaurus and you're like, alright, go wild. And then she comes back and she's like, look, I, I can use big words, I'm not stupid. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. I really like this poem here called 70 times 7. If I had a nickel for every time you showed up for me, I would have exactly zero nickels. But I know I've earned a mansion in heaven for all the times I forgave you for calling me a stupid cunt. I mean, not to sound rude or anything, Megan, but I feel like that's a little bit of a skill issue, don't you think? It sort of reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from Confucius. If you are being called a stupid c**t, perhaps try not being a stupid c**t. But while I was flipping through the pages, I couldn't help but notice something really interesting. Like I got to this page right here and I was like, alright, now we're getting somewhere, baby. Maybe there's a little bit of spice in here, maybe a little bit of gabagool, you know what I mean? But I was very disappointed. I remember flipping through this book and I was like, wait, what, 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 there's pictures of naked men in here? Ew! <laughs> no lie, every single poem that I read in this book made me feel like a failure of a human being. My god, I could be doing anything right now, I could be changing the world, I could be learning new languages, but here I am reading about some white woman complaining about men and how much she hates them. And that's the worst of it, is I spent $28 for this! 28 My favorite poem from her sums up this entire book really well. I hate men. I hate men, 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 I hate men. Wow, very nice, Megan. My favorite part about this book is that on the back of it, it literally says, this book marks a powerful debut from one of the most well-known women of our time. Turn the page. Bite the apple and sink your teeth into the most deliciously compelling and addictive book you'll read all year. And then you'll open up the book and the first thing that you'll read is, maybe the apple was actually a cock and maybe Eve wanted it because Adam was too busy, self-absorbed, and distracted to fuck. Yep. This is definitely one of the poems of all time. I'm like genuinely convinced that Megan Fox is either the stupidest and most shallow rich person in the entire world, or she's actually like the funniest and greatest troll of all time. I, I feel like her writing in this book is so bad that she has to be trolling, but I also have no way of knowing. And you know what? If it turns out that she's trolling, and this is like the most profound mockery of modern poetry that we've ever seen in the history of humanity, I'm actually going to open my third eye and gain 1000 IQ from this book. But until then, just know that this book has actually made me borderline brain dead. I'm going to be sharing even more of my favorite poems on YouTube shorts. I'm shilling, trust me, I know. Anyways, my name's Tony Tai, I'm borderline brain dead, and uh... Uh, so subscribe.